Well, <laughs> speaking, of, uh, speaking of white people thinking they're under attack, I was watching the Super Bowl, because every American does, and it was a crap, crappy game. But uh, the halftime show I thought was pretty interesting, and Beyonce yeah. ha had uh, a great... Let's show a little bit of Beyonce at the, at the halftime. Now, to me, watching that, I was like, well, this looks like every other halftime show I've ever seen. Yeah. No, wrong. It was an affront to everything we hold dear. It, it's a... <laughs> Singing and dancing while black, and uh, you know, once again at the Super Bowl, black people misbehaving. I don't know what the right wing was talking about. Yeah. Here's, uh, Rush Limbaugh said it was representative of the cultural decay and social rot that is befalling our country. Yeah, same people who think there's 40 percent unemployment. Um, <laughs> hip hop expert Rudy Giuliani. It was outrageous. <laughs> <laughs> he said it was outrageous. I don't know what the heck it was. A bunch of people bouncing around and all strange things. <laughs> What's wrong with a Perry Como medley <laughs> sung by Up With People? And it's just amazing that the two Americas, they were... Because why? Because there was some... I, first of all, you can't even hear the lyrics, really. No, not really. Who's listening? Well, she did a video the day before she did that, and the video... Um... Show the video. There's a little bit of the video, yeah. but this was not at the Super Bowl. This is from the video of the same song. Yeah. Stop right. shooting us. Stop shooting us. Yeah, this absolutely. Is... Yeah. I... The... Well, let me... Speaking of, of, of white sliding, white fra fragility, um, white people, it's not always about you. And, 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 and what I mean by that is, when you hear her talk about the record, she says, you know, like, first, I'm not in the Illuminati. She's talking to other black people saying, look, stupid, because I'm not at Ferguson when you want me to be doesn't mean I sold you out. And then the rest of the first verse is about her telling other black people, I like being black. This is the type of black I am. I like the fact my daughter's black. I like my old Michael Jackson nose. I like my child with an afro. I like me. White people, that conversation wasn't even for you. Now, well, the, my, what, what scares them she, about... What, the, she's, what she's saying was ladies... time. It's called formation. Yeah, right? absolutely. Ladies time to get information, yes. which means kill whites. I think we all know. <laughs> I think that message I, was clear. I thought it meant kill husbands, because I tried to change it, and my wife hit me. Oh. <laughs> but, but I want to say about the Black Panthers, other white people, the history they teach you in white school is not exactly right. The Black Panthers were called the Black Panthers, but they weren't just pro-black people. There was even an Asian Black Panther. People... It wasn't Margaret. <laughs> <laughs> the, the Black Panthers were a socialist group for any downtrodden people. And at that time, they right. happened to be blacks, but they said all people. Sure. Um, Fred Hampton was 21 years old, and when he talked, he talked about educating the people, yeah. not just the black people. So, white people, we're immigrating the Panthers, Panthers too. You don't have to be afraid anymore. Well, yeah. listen, I, w I was just like you. I think, you know, I, I had to be broken down for days for me to understand what the message was. Right. I think I was so tra <laughs> traumatized by the puppy monkey baby horrific act. Right. <laughs> I just could not figure out what right. the message was. And I do think... And the people who can't shit ad. What... I mean, no. The, I mean, the ads That were, was even worse. Were, that was the were, most horrible were thing. Horrific. So, you know, okay. when I see it, Beyonce, the who's guy. a great performer, yeah. doing her what? dance routine... Uh, you better ask it's the white guy in the panel. I, guess I recognized immediately. I mean, this is a, is a white political reporter. But for, for Trump's America... You must have been the only sober the, person the watching image, the Super Bowl. The, <laughs> the image of dancing black militants is like their nightmare come to life. And right right in the middle of the, the, the big game that but, every but Republican has watched. But every dance number looks militant. Exactly. Like, it didn't look like anything different than I've seen but a there was million times. The, the black power stuff, they and they're all ginned up because yeah, of Trump. That's why you're a good the... reporter. you got an eye oh. for that. But right. black pride doesn't have to take anything away from white culture. It doesn't right. have to take anything away. It can exist on its own. Sure. I think this is what black America needed. It's what all of us needed. It's really important.